Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Rhodes State College, committed to your success. RhodesState.edu and by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. Another tight race here between Riverdale and Continental. Our score, Riverdale with 45 points, Continental with 40. That means um, we have 10 questions now to wrap it up. All with 10 points apiece. Anyone's guess at this point? And uh, let's get those buzzers ready. Please answer loudly and as completely as possible. Name the U.S. folk hero who died using a sledgehammer versus a Yes, Riverdale. John Henry. John Henry is the answer. What word designates the orchestra section that includes the timpani and triangle? Yes, Riverdale. Percussion. Percussion is it. Which vitamin is also called ascorbic acid? Yes, Riverdale. C. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is correct. Name Pocahontas' father. All right, time is up. The answer is Powhatan. Who was the U.S. president when Alaska was purchased in 1867? Yes, Riverdale. Andrew Johnson. Andrew Johnson is correct. Identify the world's largest inland body of water bordered by Iran. Yes, Riverdale. The Caspian Sea. Caspian Sea is correct. All right, question number seven. What planes are named for the male honeybee? Continental. Hovercraft. Hovercraft is incorrect. Riverdale, you want to try it? Drones. Drones is the answer we're looking for. All right, what famous bird continually repeats nevermore? Yes, Riverdale? The raven. The raven is it. Two questions remaining in your game. What jazz great has a name that would imply he would be a good arm wrestler? Yes. Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong is correct. And your final question. Give the adjective that means a person can speak two languages. Riverdale. Bilingual. Bilingual is correct. Okay, we've come to the end of our game between Riverdale and Continental, and here is the score. Continental, at 40 points. Riverdale, that was a great third round, 135 points. So congratulations, you will be moving on in competition, and we want to thank you for joining us this year. Thanks for playing at home. We'll see you back here next week. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.